Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss the other important step in a sales order life cycle, the invoicing part. So in this video, we're going to assume that we already seen how and we already know how to ship items from a sales order. If you haven't seen that, uh, you can jump back to the video uh, that we have already posted and you'll be able to see there how to correctly ship some items from a sales order to your customer. So let's jump into BC and take a look at how to invoice those items. So I've already selected the order here that we worked with last time, but uh, if you uh, want to know how to get there, you can always search for the sales orders page here in the search. And once you get to the sales order page, all you have to do will be presented with a list of your sales order. And obviously you're going to go ahead and select the one you want to work on. In this case, our order is the 10, 10, 10. So let's jump back. Here we go. And the first thing that I want to again point out is that in this case, we have two lines on the sales order. We have, uh, we're selling uh, a desk and four chairs, as you can see here, represented by the quantity. If we now scroll further to the right, you will notice that we have uh, not shipped the desk yet, but we have shipped the four chairs. You notice here, there's another column here that's called quantity to invoice. Uh, we obviously would like to invoice all of them, but since we haven't shipped the desk in this case, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to only invoice the four chairs that I've already sent to the customer. So I'm going to change this quantity to invoice to zero, and I'm going to leave the quantity to invoice for the chairs to four because I want to invoice all of them. So I'm going to use the post button again, but this time instead of selecting shipment or ship like I did last time, I'm going to select invoice. So I'm going to click OK. And what BC is doing behind the scenes, it's generating another document that we will see in just a second. But before we jump there, I want to point out that now, as you can see here, if I scroll here to the right, the quantity shipped for the chairs is still four, but now the quantity invoice has changed and moved up to four as well for the chairs. While the desk it still hasn't been shipped and it has not been invoiced yet. So you'll notice that these quantities are still available here. So now that we have invoiced the four chairs, you might ask, well, where do I find that invoice? Well, there's a, an easy way to do that. Like we search here and we go into post it, uh, sorry, post it sales invoice. Post the sales invoices. These are the documents that are being generated once we post uh, an invoice from a sales order. So if we, all we have to do here is order by uh, the latest one, uh, which is this one right here. Also, we're going to select that one. And you will notice that here we have it. This is our posted sales invoice where we have our lines, our two lines. You'll notice that there's two lines, but as you can see here, the quantity on the desk is zero. So the only quantity that has actually been invoiced is, are the four chairs. So we have the unit price here, the total, as you can see here, while the first line has zero in amount because we have not invoiced that one yet. This is just a reminder to tell us like, hey, there's also this item uh, on uh, your order that just has not been invoiced yet. But what we're invoicing you right now is for the four chairs. So here we go, here we have it. And we also have here a reference uh, to the original order number. So it's possible to jump back from here and go back. From here, it is possible to print a document that we can then send to the customer or include it in the box if we haven't shipped it yet. Uh, and that will be done here from the print and print. This will obviously generate the standard layout for the posted sales invoice, which looks like this. Obviously, this can be customized and so on. But as you can see here, it reflects what we have on uh, the electronic document inside of Business Central. Now, it is important to notice uh, that at this stage, once we have generated a posted document, those changes have affected the ledger entries in the ERP system. And this is the correct way of producing an invoice, a posted sales invoice document. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video from NavSeal. Check out more right here.
Nafsil offer assistance and counsel on any existing solution. So if you're in need of assistance, don't hesitate to contact us on nafseal.com or LinkedIn. Consider leaving a like and subscribe for more tips, news, and guides to anything Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central.